now return to our interview with the insurance whistleblower. Um, Gungi, how are you, man? Hey, Skim, how are you guys? Hope you guys are having a fan freaking tastic Tuesday. What's up, Corn Tall? We love Doozy, yo. How you guys all doing today? Hey, Telvin, how are you? What's up, Fishy? How you been, Fish Can't? I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but fish can't swim. It's breaking news here. Send link, please. What uh, what would you like a link to, Broken? Read my DM. I don't know. I don't know if the champs world could handle that broken. And water can't fish. Hey, Antonio, how are you? So this is funk without an ultimate plate pretty fast hits pretty hard it is a hundred percent strap and it does have sherry so it is a bit whaley setup is very specific though uh, to make it work in feud anyway uh i'm i gotta have a migraine today to be honest but working through it man working through it took my migraine meds a bunch of ibuprofen tylenol and drank some caffeine the world would burn probably broken I mean, but would that be such a bad thing? Sometimes I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I do not think it would be such a bad thing. 49 mil. Last feud you play too much? Fair enough, Gungi. Less, less this feud probably, because uh, none of us have any CSS this feud, so we should all have to play less. <laughs> yeah, he did, Broken. Yeah, so I actually have a prescription for my migraines. Uh, it's Imitrex. The generic name is Sumatriptan. So I took an Imitrex and 800 milligrams of ibuprofen and like 1,000 milligrams of Tylenol and drank some caffeine. Then I took a hot, super hot shower to try and loosen my neck area up, which sort of worked. So I feel about 50% better, but the um, Imitrex makes me sleepy. You know, I feel like I, I need to take a nap now. Uh, but it's better than a migraine, so. What's up, Slow? How are you? What's up, 33 Spec, Adkins? I never had a migraine until I was right around close to 30 years old. And I thought I was going to die. Like... Uh, Imitrex doesn't affect my stomach at all. But honestly, neither does... Uh, Neither does Tylenol or Ibuprofen. I have a pretty lucky that way. Iron stomach. I don't get acid reflux at all. I can eat whatever I want and not have stomach issues. Pretty pretty lucky that way, actually. Overall, place three? You place third in feud, Gungi? What's your, what's your in-game name? Third is way too high, dude. You still need, you probably still catch up on sleep. That's nice, Broken. Hey, Spider Guard, how are you? They were much worse when, when I was in retail towards the end. I was having like two a week, probably. Um, all the time. Maybe more than two a week average. It was all the time. But 
actually when I went to film the video for NVIDIA Broken, uh, first day I got a migraine super, super bad. It's the worst one I had in a while. And we were out to eat, so I didn't have my medicine. Yeah, it was, it was uh, kind of embarrassing. Like, but at least I didn't throw up in front of Chugs. I made it to the to the restroom to vomit from it. Yeah, that's why I look so tired in the video. Uh, to be honest, is because it was migraine hangover. It's the worst migraine I'd probably had in the last year and a half. <laughs> I'm not surprised because it was so much pressure to finish on time, you know, and a lot of stress. So I knew I was going to have one. I actually brought my migraine meds with. It's just the way that works. It always works that way with migraines for me. Um, but we were out, so I didn't have time to get it. Ah, uh, yeah, broken. Like, the thing, if you read the comments, too, like, people are, and me, too. This is me, too. Continually amazed at how good of a heel he can play when he's such a nice guy. Like, he's literally the nicest guy ever and he plays such an amazing dick in wrestling you know what i mean he's he's just oh he's such a good heel but he's so nice it's crazy boom yeah so i mean funk's just a consistent almost 50 mil with this setup you add ultimate plates it goes up for those of you curious um it's by far my favorite build for him there is a chance you um you cascade on the row break of course yeah uh, it i think if you just watch his like wrestling persona you, you're like man this guy's got to be a huge dick right like uh but it's like his, to me, I think the biggest change is his eyes. Like, if you look at his eyes when he's wrestling um, and cutting his promos, he just has, the, 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 he comes, like, it comes across as, like, arrogant and stuff, right? Like, this cocky prick, basically. But then when he's not, like, if you watch him um, streaming his chugs or you, you meet him in person, the eyes are, like, it's almost like somebody else's eyes. And he just, like, I when I sent Mrs. Merrick's a, a picture of us, She's like, he just looks really, really kind, and I'm, and I'm pretty sure it's his eyes. And I think that's the difference between when he's wrestling is his eyes change, and that's the big difference. But any, I could be wrong, but that's how I look at it, or that's what I think is the difference. Uh, but he's so, so nice. So Whaley set up, it has to be this. You could substitute Matt, but there's no way to load it uh, other than this, really. Um, and Sherry is a significant damage increase. Uh, the next step up would be Piper Plate as far as damage goes from 50 million. Then you add a Piper Plate to this. It goes up a little bit more. Um, I have one here somewhere. Here. Does it Sandman? I've never tried soaking my feet in warm water, to be honest. Interesting. Oh, yeah, totally, McMenemy. 100%. How are you, McMenemy? How's Mac today? So, just to, like, just f full disclosure here. I actually like the Stip reworks, right? So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you are not a fan of the Stip rework, we're probably going to be on opposite sides. And generally, I have reasons for why I like something. Um, and I tend to come across a certain way when I have reasons for when I like something. So if I'm, if I'm saying something and it sounds kind of rudish, uh, it's probably because that's why I like the changes to Stip Tours. I think there's a lot of good things. So with that being said, though, I'm curious what, um, what you guys think. Um... Would the heart stopper be better than the pyro? You had physio today. Um, it's the same as the piper plate. The heart stopper and piper plate both at a hundred percent Mac. So either either would be equivalent, right? Um, you can do either.
Yeah, stip tours in general are, are pretty boring. Stip tours in general are pretty boring, right? Yeah, for sure, Pat. Uh, that's one of the negatives. The You used 61 million this way, which is what he'd also do with the... Um, what he do with uh, the Heartstopper Mac. So Heartstopper and the Piper are both the same. Uh, Heartstopper has less places you probably need to put it. So that's the better play than the Piper. I don't know why my brain was blanking on that, but yeah. A lot more coins. So they raise the prices. You get a lot more coins, though. Um, so I think that's kind of a wash. In fact, um, if you do cash refreshes on Hell Mode, which granted not everyone uh, can... Uh, but if you do a few cash refreshes, I think you're able to make over 600,000 currency in a day. I believe that's what I made on Merrick's account. It was about 600,000. Um, so that's like less... But granted, I won't refresh every time. I was just curious how much I could make refreshing. Uh, I'm really after the plates, the anniversary plates that I miss that are in there. Um, I think that's the really good value. And I can most people, if they play them, can probably get one or two. After you posted, uh, after you posted your video, I started dropping leaderboard ranks. Appreciate it. No problem, Broken. So, uh, Ben, honestly, yes. The KO thing was really dumb, for sure. Honestly, though, leaderboard, and this is the one thing where I'm probably different than a lot of people. Like, because I'll, I'll try and leaderboard in other stuff sometimes, right? Like, when, well, showdown a lot of times, because um, it's the easiest by far. Um, to leaderboard in because you just have to be efficient and so many people aren't. Um, Stip tour, though, like the leaderboard kind of sucks to be honest. It, it, like it goes deep. So the way I look at Stip, and maybe I'm wrong, Ben. So feel free to take a counterpoint here, um, and I'm okay with that because everyone's got a different experience. Uh, but the leaderboard here, I played. I played with the Twitch live. I just made sure to stay out of the top a thousand. Uh, top 1,000 is 20k, top 530k, and I think, you know, just kind of trying, you can probably be about here. Um, mixing it up is good for sure. I don't mind the pricing. I think the pricing's good. I can get, like, um, I, I still don't have a bunch of the anniversary plates, so unless you're, like, top 10-ing the leaderboard... I feel like it doesn't really matter, and even the top 10, I actually, I'll change that. I feel like unless you're top 5 the leaderboard, which is way too much effort for what uh, the coins you get, um, in my opinion, it's not really worth it, right? Because, like, 6 to 10 is like, and then once you hit 11 to 50, like, uh, who really cares? I mean, 50,000 when you need, like, 4 million is nothing. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at on the leaderboard. It's just too much effort. Oh, that's true, Ben. Fair enough. Fair enough, Ben. That's a valid point. Um, I'm after these. The ones I'm missing of these. 8 million, I'll be able to get one or two of these a month just like playing Stip Tour, right? Uh, I made enough yesterday on Merrick's refreshing that I could get a strap in a day. That doesn't seem like a terrible price, honestly. Those are the big things if you don't have these. These whatever i mean eh. yeah so the thing is piper i agree with you uh this is the cc account yeah it's four million ethan you could easily get one a month if you just play stip though without refreshing um what's i gonna say oh yeah the mp plates piper almost all of them require you to make a match and I'm not about that life, but every once in a while, like a three match, I'll do a three match, you know? So I am still missing a bunch, and I just want them for when you need them. I'm all right, Sean. I'm having a migraine today, so if I'm a little more mellow, uh, that's why. So. so it's coin on the first one, and it's always been cash. So it, they actually improved it. So... I could get why you're frustrated that it takes cash in general, but it's, it takes less cash now than it did before because normal is coin to refresh. And hard isn't worth the 200. When hell is the, is 300, you get way more currency on hell. I mean, one refresh isn't bad. Um, so, 
But yeah, this is coin, so it's an improvement over what it was. Mm, Tuso has his gear on this broken. There's no way I can take it off. Um, I don't think. Let me see. It adds damage, right? So I don't know. I could run it without him without a plate. Um, why do I call him Tuso? Uh, I try typing Tuso and never can find him. You can't do any of them over and over. They all have a limit. You do all three of them over and over. Probably, I'd have to run them without a plate or a strap broken. So we could run them without a strap. And that might be close. Because it adds 150%. So run them without a strap, basically. Might be close. He hits hard enough triple purple um, without gear that you can win. Uh, I, talk to AJ if you want. Um, Demon or AJ. One of them, I think AJ has Uso without gear and triple purple. I want to say she hits 60, 70 mil. No problem. I think broken. But I don't know. I don't know her exact setup. I know with gear, he can two click for what I just said, basically. Um, with just a three match risk. Nice, Ben. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate you, Ben. You're a good guy, you know? Hey Chris, how are you? I did, Chris. I did. I got a I got a Piper plate. And a May plate. So yeah. Hey Sako, how are you, bud? Yes, Miguel Cuddy, there weren't any um good rewards really in step other than the feud promoters and once you had the feud promoters i guess the iow strap which is big for a lot of people um everybody uh, i like the change dmeyer i think it's better than it was so i also tend to be a try try hard yeah i mean hell um if you use uh demon valor in a promoter you'll probably three star hell um, promoter 50% is probably enough. Not a big fan of, um, I don't think it's frustrating price wise, which I just explained why though. Yeah, I have four of them, Chris, and that I can use every single one of them effectively. So <clears throat> this is 4 million, which sounds like a lot, but it's not really a lot. Actually. I mean, if you go through and play all of it and three star it, you'd be surprised how much currency you're going to get. Probably two, three hundred thousand. Um, so you're probably going to be able to get a plate a month if you just do your step. And I don't know how much, how many of these go into four million, but that's like what, six straps, seven straps, something like that. Six, seven straps if you don't want the plates a month at a shot for an affiliation. That's not terrible, and that's not counting whatever happens in marquee. So I think the only reason this might um, every day, this one resets every day. I think the only reason um, this will frustrate people is if they're focusing on these, right? But I mean, do you really expect them? Honestly, legit question. Do you expect them to give you um, the S tier shards free with it being easy? That's a serious question. The fact that you can get any of them for free is surprising. But especially, um, you know what I mean? So I think if you take that into account, um, paid versus free, and the fact that you actually have an avenue to get some for free, it makes more sense. That's how I look at it. I'm shocked these are in here, period. So, yeah, you can get them for money, generally, Ethan. <laughs> so, you can generally get them for money, but not free once their contest is over, other than when they show up on prize walls, and then, you know, you're deciding what you're going to get. So, it's definitely a strategy, um, and it's also a strategy on your part. But, like, my thing is, 
focus on the best value for your roster, right? If you don't have your feud promoters, that should be your first focus, in my opinion. After that, um, depends on you, right? These, for a roster like mine, are kind of mostly irrelevant. Um, if they come out, like I said, they need uh, a three match to make work. Um, and I generally avoid matches like the plague at this point on my roster. So it'd have to be a really big upside or like for boss battle, something like that is where I tend to use these. That being said, I want at least one of every of them. So. Yeah, so most fighters, shelf life is really short. If you get six months out of a fighter, that's actually really good. Um, but like, uh, so anniversary plates, real swaggy that I don't have. Uh, I don't have uh, the Shinsuke one. I can't think of the name. It's like yellow to blue, blue to yellow. One of those. Uh, I don't have. I don't think I have boat status yet. Um, I'm missing probably five of them at least. I keep. I keep whenever they're on a prize wall. I have, yeah, Strong Style, that's the one. I have the option, like, Pray in the Night I would have loved to get, but if I got Pray in the Night this time, then I don't get Mayplate, and it's a pretty easy choice for me, Mayplate over the, the, the Pray in the Night all day, every day when I have the option, right? So, uh, other ones, the last one, I took an LA Night Plate, um, my first one, and that made it so I couldn't get boat status, right? Again, easy choice, but I, I, I would like to have them. I want one of every plate, for the most part. Other than Rock's Plate, couldn't care less about Rock's Finery. Uh, Finn's moveset is just two clicks. Just two clicks. I did a video, though, if you want to watch the video of actually playing the stip on Hell Mode. Um, let me link that and pin it. He's the really easy answer that everyone has on their roster. Um... To be honest, for any multiply step, doesn't matter the color. And if you have Batista probably at 50%, you'll three star even the final node. I don't know, five star gold probably high enough if you have Batista. No, no uh, I don't know if there's a character capable of three starring it without some percentage boost um eh, that i have maybe if you get lucky and don't cascade um also i don't know let me check on merrick's account real quick let me get on my phone and check i don't think i bothered to level up um becky i did level up the enforcer for um coins because that's 10 percent more coins so like in the time i make uh four million coins that's an extra 400,000 currency. So the enforcer to me that is coin is worth it. The other ones probably not. Um, and the stip promoters definitely not. IOW is the last promoter. Uh, stip promoter is the last one I would level personally. Um, I would wait until my other stuff is all leveled. Shockingly, this is going to probably shock a lot of people. Maybe I'll do a video at some point. I actually think... Notoriety showdown promoters are more useful than feud. Just going to wait for a second there because that's going to be a hot take. Wait for people to flip out and disagree with me on that one. I can tell you really easy why. That is a hot take, Professor. Really easily why very simple reason wow mcgill somebody agrees with me i was not expecting that you are completely limited in showdown by one thing energy the only way around it is your promoters Uh, showdown promoters being more valuable than feud promoters because you're limited by energy. Uh, feud does save me time, absolutely, but I'm maxing with or without feud promoters. It's just feud promoter saves me time. But when it comes to notoriety, 
it's on a fixed amount of tries. Right? Feud, I can just play more. If I care about the milestone. That's fair, Piper. That's absolutely fair. Yeah, plus we get showdown midweeks. And um, also, guys, like, you don't need... People think you need to spend to leaderboard showdown. You do not need to spend to leaderboard showdown. I'm never going to finish second in a feud ever, but I can finish second in a showdown easily. <laughs> Fair enough, broken. Not, I mean, not easily, but I have finished second in a showdown. I never finished second in a feud. And I finished top 10 a bunch. I know Professor will agree with me on this too, because he's also finished top 10. The best I've ever done in feud, I think, is like 11th, 13th, 15th, something like that. And it required a heck of a lot more time. So anyway, I feel like, and then as far as the, the coin promoter, as far as the coin promoter, that one is super useful if you're missing and the reason i put notoriety higher is because if you're missing like one css or two the notoriety or the coin if you have both coin promoters maxed can make up for missing one of those right so let's say if you want to get to the 700k milestone um that and you're missing like two people like this last time i was missing um may and naomi right the showdown coin promoter let me get to the 700k free but if you're somebody that's usually missing three four five coin promoter isn't going to make a difference for you so it really depends on where you sit with the coin ones so i think coin ones can be just as good as notoriety but notoriety is pretty pretty good on like every level of roster whereas coin is maybe only good it's better the bigger your roster is the better the coin ones are so that's how i look at it mm -hmm, chris yep absolutely and also in combination the notoriety helps you get to the max notoriety faster so you're getting more coins right it doesn't make sense to run your coin promoters when you're giving getting 250 coin at a low low level so uh leaderboard 100 percent does man uh my um my 40 dollar la night plate would completely disagree with you on that because of showdown leaderboard i got a 40 dollar la night plate and honestly, all 40 of that wasn't spent for that. I would have got it probably on $20 in LA Nightplay with notoriety. Coin didn't help that at all. Yep. Yep, Sean. If you have to look at the events, sometimes notoriety, usually on the weekend, um, correct. Usually on the weekend, the coin is better. The coin promoter is better up to a certain point but after you hit 700k coin is worthless right after you hit the 700k the coin one is basically worthless so like if you have the css you don't need the coin that leaderboard is bunk you know what i mean that's a bunch of people buying energy at the top and having everything so i would even agree uh it's only good to a certain point and then it's not good anyway the point being though about this is like i get way more with those promoters for my roster way more resources way more um rewards way more whatever out of those than i do out of my feud promoters my feud promoters make me play less so which i love don't get me wrong. Uh, I think all three of those need to be leveled, right? Uh, the way I would rate the importance to me right now, um, 
I would say Notoriety 1, honestly, Showdown Coin 2, and Feud 3, but all three of those need to be leveled. The, the Stip 2 are dead last. Boss helps your faction. And again, boss, you're limited to the currency you can earn um, based on a limited amount of runs, your one run. So that's how I rate it. But I do think it's different for everyone. So. It's not better. hundred. Yes, but the hundred, the 700k isn't there in midweek spill broken. So that's the thing. 700k isn't always there. On the weekend, yes. 700k so far has always been there. And yes, that's 100% more than you'll get leaderboarding the notoriety one. Yes. On the weekend, everything you say is true. 100%. Uh, but we get more weekend sh midweek showdowns, I think, than we get weekend showdowns. Yeah. Um, and those, typically, the notoriety has been uh, better and we have more of those events. So that's how I look at it. Either way, they're super close. The showdown coin promoters, I think, are more valuable than Feud. Even if the mode is objectively or subjectively, depending on the person. Even if the honestly, uh, I just don't like that your energy. So here's full full truth. Uh, anything in this game that puts a cap is going to benefit. The smarter you are, the more efficient you are. It's going to benefit you. So, like, Showdown with Energy is exponentially easier for me to leaderboard than, than, than um, with, without Energy. So, for me personally, Energy is much easier and, and better. But for 90% of the community or more, 95, 99%, uh, it's total crap and sucks. So, like, I don't think it's ever good to cap a game in, in the amount you play. I think that's just dumb. Uh, you want to encourage people to play the game. More people, the longer you play, the more you play, the more invested you are, the more likely you are to spend. That's how I look at it. So, um, but like as far as from a personal standpoint, uh, I like anything they put a cap on just benefits like being prepared, thinking about it, and setting up right. So that's right in my wheelhouse or alley. You know what I mean? So, um, so for me it's good, but for most of the community it sucks. Uh, Northern Mouth, that's awesome. I'm glad he is. That's the goal. Trying to get more content for more people, right? All stuff for everybody. Well, if you're a mega whale, I probably don't have a lot of content for you, but, or any, uh, but content for everyone else besides the like 0.001%. Yeah, that's the other thing. So the, what I do like about Showdown though, is it's on my time. Yeah, it's a, it makes it so they're on the same level as far as time-wise go. Piper, for sure. Still, no, we're, no one's ever on the same level, right? Because you have a bigger roster than me. You have better superstars, better straps. It's not even kind of equal. Nothing in this game is actually equal. Um, but, yes. Um, but the, the thing I love about Showdown, it's always on my time. If I decide I don't want to play, I don't hurt anyone but myself. If I decide, you know, like I want to... Um, I don't wait on anyone. I'm never waiting on anyone. No one's ever waiting on me. If I want to, if I play five minutes and get bored, I quit. So that's what I love about Showdown. It's like completely on my time. So I'm a fan of, of that part of Showdown, if that makes sense. The, the mode has always struggled to find the right, the right balance. And like my free to play Showdown was the worst thing ever. Like so hard to compete in Showdown. Unless you have like tons of golds, it's ridiculous. So as far as the game mode, uh, it's kind of horrible, right? Because anyone newer to the game is going to do jack all in Showdown. Uh, anyone without a big roster, Showdown's just going to be like a kick in the dick, really. So I don't, I don't really see any way around. Like Feud, you can set your roster smaller. Like you can have a crappy roster and still not get your face kicked in time and again in Feud because you just run a small lineup. You know what I mean? So nothing wrong with that, but like boss, boss, what are you going to do in boss with a, a new account or a small account? You can't even get in a battle and no faction's going to take you because you uh, can't contribute. So it's weird. Um, it's just weird. Uh, but feud, you can actually play at a low level new roster and play with 
similar setups to yours because it's based on the roster size you go in with, the matchmaking. So, I guess there's pluses and minuses to everything, right? Anyway, on the store, I do agree with you guys. It seems, for the most part, like the shards are, like, really high-priced. I particularly don't care. Um, for me, I don't see it as a big deal because there's other stuff you can go after. You don't want to save for those. Uh, eventually, this is how I look at it, though. Um, anyone I don't get, I try and shard recruit. And eventually, I shard recruit them. They're like, unless they're a zero shard recruit release, pretty much I'm getting everyone eventually. So, on my account, Chris, yeah, I have my phone open. I have probably a lot more than most people because I had a very expensive showdown weekend. I actually don't agree with that, Piper. I think uh, Feud has better rewards now than ever, unless you are a leaderboard chaser. Then they're worse. Um, and leaderboard really only ever affected like 20 people. So I think that's just based on the way you play the game. But as far as like actual rewards for playing Feud, they're better now than ever. They're just worse on the leaderboard, which really only affects in like 20 people, 40 people. So... So I actually don't agree. I agree that for you that that's absolutely true. But I think in general, I get way more out of Feud uh, for doing less. The key to Feud is just doing your 100 million and calling it a day. Uh, Ilya, I have 1376. May, or I mean, Maxine, I have 1670. And May, I has 1376. You, 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 you should, Sean, but this game isn't about that because they don't let you grind for, um, uh, missing, um, missing CSS and feud either. You know what I mean? So that's just the, the game, like stopped letting you grind a while ago for things for the most part. Most of the rewards are here. You can have this for logging in. I don't think so. I think um, the 100 million milestone a decent amount of people have to play for, right? Um, most people don't have a top five faction roster. So, like, for me, I can do 100 million in, like, two, three hours counting CSS or whatever, you know? And But honestly, two or three hours is a decent time commitment on a Friday or Saturday night. Um, I don't know what normal person... Uh, counting CSS. CSS slows me down more than anything for Feud. Um, but I don't know what a regular roster and a regular faction, how long it takes you guys to um, hit 100 million. Oh, I couldn't care less what's in it for the top, Piper. I don't care what's in it for the top 10 people in this game, just like I don't care what's in it for the top 10 spenders. I couldn't care less. I'm not here for the top. I'm here for 99.9. .9. The top, you can talk to um, Zoro for those builds if you want. And for Feud, uh, you can talk to One True. I couldn't care less about the top. I'm here for the majority of the game. Takes you about six hours. Got you, Concrete Man. Six hours is a pretty big investment, so I wouldn't say they're after people not playing. Exactly, Chris. Exactly. Uh, you can still tour farm. It's just not very efficient because it takes so many resources. But, or I mean, it takes so many. They didn't upgrade or update tour um, rewards with tiers. You know what I mean? Like, you still get 5 TP or 10 TP. So, hey, Momo. I think there's, like, plenty of issues with the game in general, but I don't think leaderboards is it, leaderboard rewards is one of them, personally. 
I think there's a lot of stuff they could uh, focus on much more than what's in a feud leaderboard that helps the majority of the game. I think what's in a feud leaderboard really only helps a few 10 to 20 people. Uh, after that, it means nothing to everybody. Um, so it's a small, small thing compared to a lot of other things in the game. The rewards for the month are in a, you know, basically there's a bucket of rewards for a month, as I understand it. I could be wrong. Um, mm, eh, I don't know that the list is very friendly readable. I have a link and it's, they're called like tier five skill plates and it says what colors they do. Um, so I can give you that, Mo, for my faction is compiling this through i believe um there's that link um so shout out to mo i think through the code is how he does that so some of it may be slightly difficult to understand but it's basically the anniversary plate so purple to black purple to blue black to blue yellow to purple yellow to blue purple to red green to yellow green to purple blue to yellow yellow to red those are all the four mil ones there are tier five skill plates. Then there's the tier five skill plate December, which I'm assuming those are the Santa's muscles, but I could be wrong. Um, and then there's a tier five skill plate November and October. I don't know what those are. Um, but the other ones are the anniversary ones. So all the anniversary ones are in there. Um, there's also a tier six skill plate. Uh, it says T6 skill plate, break red, make black. I think those are gem chuckers. Break yellow, make black. Break green, make black. Break, those are the rocky gem chuckers. I think those are the rocky gem chuckers. Um, so yeah. I could be wrong about that though. I'm just off of what I'm reading here. So. Yeah, what you said, McManamy. How are you, Zandel? But yeah, uh, Funk is the same with Piper or with um, what McManamy said, the Heart Stopper. They both had 100%. And then I'll run one with the LA Knight plate, um, which hits his hardest. So without, without, he's, uh, what was it? 50 million without any of the plates or with just the pyro princess i mean set up you're pretty limited though uh because you need to make a row break with two to fill the finisher and there you go mcmanamy i think you're i'm gonna stay out of that i don't need to <laughs> Let's get my buffs again. See if I can cascade again. Don't need to fill it up. But... Oh, did you sell it, or did you just never have it, McMenemy? Were you drinking some Bucky Boy? When you did something dumb. Yeah, I was waiting for that, Mac. Like, I'll just stay out of this. I will just stay out of this. So yeah, and then, of course, LA Knight played. He hits even harder. But he's pretty good, but uh, it's not my flavor. <laughs> That's funny, Mac. That's funny. Anyway, I, I see stipulations being mixed bag for a lot of people. I'm the kind of person, if you tell me here's something you didn't have before uh, that you can find a use for, I'm happy with it. I see it, 
I wa I literally haven't played Stip forever. Uh, now I'm playing again. It's extra that I wasn't getting. Do I have to play a little bit more for it? Sure. Do I care? Absolutely not. Do I think it's bad in any way, shape, or form? No. Not for me. I think it's just extra I was doing nothing with. The only, like, the big negative... Um, fair enough, Chris. Fair enough. I can do that on my stream, uh, like, tomorrow. Assuming I'm back to feeling okay, which I should be. Um... I'll play Bray tomorrow on my stream. You want? Oh, hey, Noah. You're 370 from Cena. And I'm using three acros this feud. Nice. Yeah, that's the, the worst part with is the marquee tour. Um, not refreshing all the time. That's the negative that I see really from the change. Uh, the rest of it, I don't think so negative at all. The rest of it seems mostly positive so far. I mean, that's good you don't, though, McMenemy. That's generally the best thing to do anyway, right? It's testing ground with it, figure out what works. 85 million on Funk with the LA Knight plate. He's, hits hard. Hits hard with the Cascade Risk, but hits hard. Yep, we all need more uh, promoter coins for sure. There's never enough. Um, this store, they need to be bought every day from your faction store. The gold one, that's something you should never skip, like ever. You should every single day, no matter where you are at in the game, is buy these tokens without exception. Uh, because it's just going to take you years, literally, years of buying these. Uh, to level up all of your IOWs. That's why it's really important to... Uh... I haven't done any pulls this week, Sandel. The 24-hour loot is a really good one. So um, I did it last month because there was Muda shards in it, and I really want Muda, and I didn't have him. So everything was useful. For some reason, I'm not seeing it here. This one has Vader, and I have Vader. Right, McManamy? I think it's just my account that's cursed. Um, and I have Vader. So, but if you're shooting for Vader and you don't have like May, Ilya, or May yet, it's impossible to get anything useless in the pull. You probably will just get shards, but at least it's all useful. So, I love them now because they released some decent feuding ladies. Uh, but that could slightly be changing because I am almost to the point. Uh, with my dude roster, where I can run an entire feud lineup that never has to touch the gem board. Um, I now have four characters that never need to touch the gem board, so I don't even need to look at my phone to win with those four. Um, at the end of this month, it could... Actually, it might even be five. We'll have to see with Julius. That's in question, uh, but maybe. And then at the end of this month, if I get Ilya, it would be six. Um, for ladies, the only one I don't have to look at the gem board is Charlotte. Um, showboat Charlotte. Well, I guess I don't have to with Tiffy either, but Tiffany doesn't hit super hard. Um, so there's that. I mean, they don't auto because you can't auto in feud, but basically, you don't have to place here. Um... This is what I mean when I say I don't have to look at the board. Um, Cody's fine. Wrong moveset. Where's the good moveset? I'm not going to put a strap on him or trainers. He's got 99 MP damage. Doesn't matter. Uh, this is about... I don't know. What I hit in my video, usually like 65, 75 million, sometimes harder. Bad hit, I think, did like 55 million where the board was bad. But this is what I mean. Just give me a match. The damage doesn't matter, it's enough. But this is what I mean. You'll see. You'll see.
See how I didn't need to place any gems? But I put the wrong move in. So it did nothing. This is supposed to this is supposed to be the snowfall green move. I just saw the buff and I'm like, oh we're good. La -dee -da -dee -da. I put the wrong move in. So bad example. Hold on. The damage doesn't matter. The, what matters is the fact you don't need to touch the board. So like you can't possibly mess it up and the, and if you order your moves left to right that's what opens first um and is targeted first so literally you can just sit there tapping without looking at the screen um and then you can if you're weird like me um you can be last feud i was playing fallout 76 yes sean exactly like that Yeah, otherwise I'll, like, binge-watch a TV series or something. You know what I mean? Because Feud, you're settling in for a long grind. You know what I'm saying? But like that, you don't need to touch the gem board. So, like, you can go about your whatever it is you're doing, whether you're playing another game, binge-watching a TV series, and then before you know it, you feuded a bunch. That, with a, like, strap, all that jazz, hits, like, 60 to 80 million. But that's, like, the gameplay loop. You know what I mean? Like, it's just click, click, click. Yeah, so uh, that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, is super lazy, right? So I can do whatever I feel like. And then if I ever want to chase a leaderboard, they're still fast and they're Merrick's proof. So then I would just pay attention while doing it. You know what I mean? So I'm not hurt anything. And then I'm trying to also pick um, people... Um, like, he, Cody's not bad in boss, right? Nice, Telvin. That's really cool. Really cool. I don't think it really matters, Concrete Man. Um, I think I usually put whatever's less first. Like, uh, if you play it a lot and get, like, a vibe one way works better than the other, then go ahead. Hmm. That's a great question, Sako. So, Macho, with 100% strap, both gears, and Sherry, um, does about 20 million on the blues, about 40 million on the pin, give or take, on a tour, uh, approximately. Ends up being about 65 mil total with a 40 million pin. You actually kind of want to stay away from showboats with that, but everything else you're fine. So that's also with a nightmare plate. Um, without Sherry, you'd be looking at potentially either Matt or or you'd be looking at uh, Braun and then not needing 17k Santa and then using like another multi-trainer. But it's about, I want to say about 10 million less. Um going that route it could be even more so then your 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 blues are if i want to i'm not 100 percent sure because i don't play that way but i would prefer to play not using santa or sherry and using brawn and i want to say i was doing about 50 million with 100 percent strap nightmare plate both gears and that set up on a tour uh about 50 million total and like i want to say it was like a 34 35 million pin um ish but that was using Mem and... Nope, that was using Brett and Gunther. That was using Brett and Gunther. So, that's probably what you'd be looking at-ish with no Sherry. Sherry definitely makes a big difference on, on Macho with 17k Santa. Uh, Blast is fine, Concrete. I don't think the order really matters. So, like, there's different ways of doing things. I'm very much in general about efficiency, you know? Um, personally, I think Wes with Moment is better than Macho without everything. Macho with everything is better than Wes with Moment, but that's assuming you have Braun Breaker and 17k Santa. 
Macha with everything is better than Wes. That's kind of how I've always broke it down. Uh, I would use Wes over Macho because he has small pins, uh, smaller pins, um, if I didn't have Sherry. But either way, it's really close. So, you know, it's whatever you like. And keep in mind, the way I like to set up is not always the same way everyone else likes to set up. Yeah, Stone Cold, I think. Oh, uh, Professor, thank you for pinning it. Appreciate it. Yeah, uh, we'll be rating Professor as long as I don't have to end the stream early. I say this every time, and I never have yet. Um, uh, and he's got giveaways, so go win free stuff. It's not Shark Packs this week, but maybe there's a special name this week for what it is. Did you play him last feud? Elite loot. Oh, so the elite loot is the best loot each month, in my opinion. Just pretty useful shards for everyone, and then the the bottom one in it is usually one of the more rare recent guys like Muda, Vader, that kind of stuff. This week it's Vader. Really good loot. Um. So, Braun, Moment, 100% Strap, 17k Santa, Lawler, a Z plate, West does about 55 million in feud. Turn one. So, to me, that beats a Macho doing like the smaller pin and the other stuff. Um, so, it, but Macho, when he has Sherry, beats Wes uh, and is faster. So, Macho with everything, I say go Macho. Um, over Wes, no matter what Wes has, but without everything, um, I think you take Wes, assuming Wes has everything he needs. Does that make sense? That I, it, it, it's, it, you could do either, but, um, it, it, if, like if you're a macho Mark, I don't think you'll regret it. I, I also keep in mind, I hate hall of fame probably more than anyone else with a platform in this game. <laughs> so, uh, if, if I'm biased against anything, it's zero shard releases in Hall of Fame. I hate them. So, you, can, you have to take it with a grain of salt. Yes. How dumb is that? I get them. I get every Hall of Famer. It, like, is so annoying. I would trade you in a heartbeat. If somebody wanted to give me Muda, I would hand you my Macho with Gears 100% Strap and Nightmare Plate. Uh, give me Muda, I'll give you my Macho with everything. You can have it. <laughs> so, yeah. But Acro is the hardest class to get somebody good in in this game right now for men. I think. I feel like that's true. Does anyone disagree? You guys feel like Acro is like the worst class to get somebody great at feuding? I feel like Acro is the worst. It's either Acro or Trickster for me. I mean, Delo's okay. Um, like, Delo's, like, Delo's okay. Acro and Trick, I think, are the worst. For sure. Powerhouse is your weakest class. Powerhouse can be hard. So, like, Powerhouse is kind of limited, but I feel like maybe more available. Hey, Gumsy, how are you, buddy? Uh, Gumsy, are you excited for the Mothman thingy that just started today, the Equinox? Yeah, I think so, too. I do see how powerhouse can be a problem for a lot of people. Absolutely, though. What time is it so I stay on time schedule? We're doing pretty good yet. Did you guys, before we get to some roster stuff, because um, we're going to take a look at Noah's roster today, did you guys have any other questions at all? I've never done it, Gumsy, so. Uh, did you see, though, they added new stuff? New, new plans or whatever? Probably, Sean. Although, Showboat Ladies is getting really deep really fast. 
Showboat Ladies is getting really deep really fast now, too. I love Maxine. What's up, Painbringer? But it's not quite, it's not quite in the acro range. Now, what? Oh, what, what are you talking about? Tech needs some love. Tech, we've had a metric crap ton of techs of late. And not enough tokens? Yeah, Stone Cold. Tends to work that way. Tank Girl is good? Or are you talking speed and power? What? I'm confused, Sako. Shotzi's good. <laughs> Please, no more texts. Yeah, give us a break from the texts. No more texts. I'll take a whole month of just male acros and lady powerhouses, honestly. Give me just a month of uh, male acros and lady powerhouses. Modern tech every month since March. <sighs> Striker Naomi is good, but no one can level her if they get her, Gumsy, because no one has focus shards. <laughs> uh, how are you, Danje? I can. <laughs> this guy, get out of here, concrete man. Uh, I haven't yet, kid. I'm still waiting to play him in a feud. Um, with the middle line. So, yeah. Living the dream, that's good. If you want to know what kid's talking about, um, Sammy, so I'm looking for ways to free up Piper plates. That's why I use the club pass. <laughs> Gumsy's always thinking. Um, <laughs> um, so zombie Sammy is like really versatile. What? I can't type in Z Sammy. That doesn't work, Merrick. Uh, so back when I originally previewed Sammy, um, yeah, this feud is ladies, but end end of the month feud I'll try. Um, two click. He was awesome when we had different perks. Literally, this these two. Place your multiplies and then put your black gems over it. And this move set doesn't use a jade plate, doesn't use a piper plate. And those are both really in high demand. Me? I don't think I've got anyone new this month yet. Uh, we're only 12 days in, though. But so far, no one knew. Well, Batista. I pulled Batista. Does that count? I have Batista. He's new. That's it. That's new for this month so far. The green move doesn't matter. So if you have a middle lane, though, you can still run that move set. So I was curious, like, does that still hit hard enough? Because it just uses a tiara, tiara, um, however you want to say it, that thing, and, um. I have a ton of those, and I don't care about them. So, maybe it works, and if it works, is it worth always committing a middle line to them? Flabbergasted, don't they just give them to you? I wish. I would have way more money. Although, honestly, I spend more trying to get plates than superstars. It just usually happens if I'm trying to get a plate, I get a superstar too, but I spend on plates, um, not on superstars. Unless they have a ridiculous trainer like Sherry, Mello, Ron Breaker, Roxanne. Then I would spend on superstars. For the most part, I just spend on plates, trying to get plates. Concrete man, I have to agree with Gumsy. Boo this man out of here, guys. Boo this man out of here. Congrats, though. But still, boo him out of here. I'm jelly, but I'm happy for you. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I'm just saying, McManamy. Just saying. If your plate game is strong, you can make just about any superstar work. 
if you're if your trainers and your plate game is strong i mean you do need straps too and medals but you need everything i'm just but like plates seem to be like generally if i can't make somebody work it's almost always because i'm missing a plate uh and now we can run black gem damage twice nope this needs santa so this does need a middle lane as well um kid make big boss man great they need to make a new big boss man card how many people all right i'll put off in he's the same this isn't my account by the way um how many also i think this you know what i don't think we can use this account because it's got the zombie moment and that's not fair zombie moment he crushes this way which i don't have um what was i saying i was gonna say how many people what I just forgot like right in the middle of talking to the surprise of no one merrick's forgot what he was talking about <laughs> Gumsy. Uh, oh yeah, boss man. We need a new big boss man. We totally need a new big boss man. That was a brain cascade. Who would who would who would take I'd take a new big boss man. Would you guys? Is there anyone that wouldn't like a new big boss man? If so, boo them out of here. I mean, Hall of Fame boss man probably will be a thing. You'd think. Work for me, man. It would work for me, Chris. This this sucks though. How do we uh, nerf our multiply jet? Well, whatever. It I think it'll go for about sixty million feud, but you need a middle line. Um, if you have the moment, it's gonna hit way harder. So this is for you people with the moment. What do you mean, you people? Well, you know. I mean, so, as somebody who's like a Triple H fan, I actually, it doesn't bother me when we get new Triple H's, because I love Triple H. So, I mean, like, I don't, we have like 20 Triple H's at this point, I think. I don't know how many we have, but it seems like 20. Um, I'll take a new Triple H whenever they want to give me one. We, I feel like we've never had the Roman we deserve. Can I just say that? I feel like we've never had the Roman we deserve. So something like that, kid. How you feel about Austin's? Fair enough. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> so, and what I mean is, like, so Mutant Roman was pretty good, but no one got him. So, like, I would like, like, either the A, A chase or the S chase, but not the S plus. Like, the A... Or the S, preferably the S so he would be good out of the box, Roman. That's like, just feels like, you know, Roman. But if they make him the S+, plus, then hardly anyone's going to get him. So I feel like there's like some middle ground that works. You know, I, 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 would, I would like that Roman. I'm here for that, Roman. All right, so help me out, guys, because I have a headache, a migraine today if I miss something. We're going to take a look at... Um... <laughs> it's gone. Oh, my gosh. Um, No more Romans equal boring. That's fine, Gumsy. Um, also, I'd really... I wouldn't mind a main event, Jay, while we're at it. um we're gonna do um wow noah's roster review so 
Yeah, but he's not like you can use him in boss. He's good in boss, Dobson, but he's not like you're not gonna feud with him and be like, ooh, this is the Roman I always wanted. That works too, McMenemy. Or you probably won't. Donje might disagree with me, I don't know. I, I've left mine at six star bronze when I was using him for boss. Let's roast this roster. <laughs> Let's not. But that's fair, Dobson. That's fair. Oh. So what do you guys think? You guys the the Cena's um while well, we're getting in here. With Cena like retiring one more match of all this stuff, do you how many excuse me, how many big Cena storylines do you think we're gonna have? Like how many angles? Like do you think we're going to see like one big angle all the way up to like the biggest moment at like mania? Or do you think we'll see multiple storylines where he gets to fight a bunch of people he never has on his way out three or four HD? I, I hope there's like three or four good ones. I'd like to see some like, um, fantasy booking, if you will, like this needs to happen before he's gone kind of thing. And do you guys think they give him one more title? He gets one more title, right? They got to do that, right? He gets the last one. Yeah. Good, good, good. I want to see that too. Like, if for nothing else, his Make-A-Wish stuff, I think he deserves that. You know what I mean? Like, all, just the Make-A-Wish stuff, stuff alone. Uh, so good. You don't think they will, J Niners? I so I know Triple H loves Flair. Oh my gosh, I never want to see Ric Flair in a ring ever again. Uh but I that I would have said that same thing fifteen years ago. <laughs> That's funny, Noah. I mean, I'd be down for Cena Orton. I would be down for Cena Orton. 100%. He's never won the IC title? Well, he's got to win the IC title. There's no way C they don't let Cena be a Grand Slam champ, right? Like, that would be kind of dumb. He's never had the IC title HD? Really? That's shocking. How? What? Really? Shucky ducky quack quack. I don't, I mean, that would sell a lot of tickets real swaggy. Yeah, it does, Big Flecky. That's crazy. Okay, so he's got to get an IC on the way out for sure. That has to happen. There's no way. They don't let that go, right? Orton's fine, Gumsy. Yeah, it's so hard to tell with wrestling. The spinner strap was too expensive. Ah! Well, you know, he's fine with putting people over at this stage. He hasn't won a match forever. All right. Uh, we're going to, you keep, you can keep talking about this too in chat or in general. Anyway, I'm excited about it. That's hilarious beside me. I love Orton. I love Orton. Mm. Old Man Orton is my favorite Orton, too. All right, let's start with his plates. So this is what he's working with for plates. Ogan plate is in there. Uh, the RK 
plate, RKO plate. Gumsy, get out of here. Get out of here. Gunther and anyone is physical, but yes, Chris. You, how can you think Orton is boring? Really? You really think Orton is boring? It is, kid. It is. Really? I, you're crazy, dog. Who do you think is not boring? Well, we're at it. Oh, you got a tiara. I like where it's at. All right. You look like you've made some good picks for your plates so far that you have equipped. Gumsy about to be blocked. <laughs> Don J, I'm kind of with you. So the thing is with Gumsy, I never know if he's serious or trolling. Because he could be trolling. Yeah, I've heard CM Punk wants to work with John once more. Uh, we're taking a look at um, Noah's roster here. Let's start with the ladies. Uh, he So he said he wants to focus on um, Powerhouse and Feud. And he, ha he said he has a smaller roster. Block up and more like an RKO. So, yeah. Um, so some of this, Noah... I probably will advise you you're going to want to wait before taking some of them up, you know, um, in general. I'm just kind of getting a look-see here, getting a feel for it. Okay. Your Lady Acker. Good job, actually, on having Heavy Metal Rhea. So how, how big, guys, is Heavy Metal Rhea um, for smaller rosters that were able to get her? I feel like she's got to be pretty big. Assuming you can get feel the strap for her. Yeah, Zachers are looking really slick for ladies. As much as I hate to say this, this is the right play here, Noah. There you got Gold Dakota. There. Some good spot for her at bronze. Fair enough, crazy chef. You don't have 17k Santa. You have a strap for her. So instead of 17k Santa, Noah, you can run MP down. You know? Uh, I think it is, kid. I think it is. So if you don't have 17k Santa for Rhea, just run an MP down uh, coach like Steph. Throw a striker Steph on there in place of 17k Santa. And then just swipe, they swipe, just target people that aren't charged uh, unless, you know what I mean? You, I think you've seen me stream enough to know what I'm talking about. Hey, Fifth Element, how are you, buddy? Okay, so... Technicians... Don't take this the wrong way when I say this. Your technicians suck. It's not your fault. Um, get out of here, Gumsy. Yeah, if you get May this month, that's your lady tech for sure. If you get May this month, that's your lady tech. And she'd be fine going to gold for your roster. Nikita is is good, and May Young is better in my opinion. Um, I did the budget build on her. You could easily pull that off. Um, probably get better mileage out of her budget build than Nikita. I feel like maybe, but maybe not. Like that's open for debate, probably. Um, but assuming you get a strap, had a strap for May Young, 
I would pro I would probably take her over Nikita because she has a higher top end when you as you get nicer stuff. She's got a buff, so she's a lot like more likely to last longer anyway. If that makes sense. So uh plus legendary is hard to Oh, I hate you a little bit. I don't have any good straps for me. Um yeah, I would say go May if you get May. Welcome back, child play. Didn't know you were gone, to be honest, but welcome back. Yeah, otherwise, just, like, are any of these needed trainers, guys, that he has to level? I don't think so. I don't think Lady Tech is, like, strong with techs for trainers. I don't think there's anything he really needs to level here. I, think her, I don't think she needs 6-star for botches, and it's not that good of a trainer anyway. I think it's botches. Is it botches? I don't know. She's high enough for a plus two match, I think, Jabroni. Pretty sure that's high enough for plus two matchy match. Get out of here, Gumsy. She was, she could hit really hard for when she came out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, showboats, so Charlotte isn't going to hit super hard without all the stuff, right? Which I'm sure you know. Stars filled, max levels, all that. I do not mind her here. If you get all of her gears, you can always start with the sub. Um, and it's pretty decent that way. Otherwise, Maurice is probably your best bet. But I wouldn't, you could go, you could go to silver, but I really feel like bronze is kind of the sweet spot for her. Uh, she doesn't really win fast. Bailey with the moment is actually probably as fast. Um, but again, I wouldn't go any farther. I think these are fine here. Um, so eventually here, there's got to be some, I, I don't know, like Lady Showboat, there's three great ones if you have the right stuff and then everyone else. Cool. The strap is a problem potentially for Charlotte. Um, you could take, if if, I, if you wanted to take somebody else to silver, uh, Maurice would probably be my pick, but I don't think I would. I would say kind of hold off. Um, again, in like Charlotte, you can do the most with probably out of all the stuff, assuming you get her gears. So yeah. Yeah, Maurice 31k for the trainer, correct. It's a useful trainer if you're using the people she's used on. It's quite good, actually. Uh, your acros are great. Like, I don't think you need any advice on your acros. Why all the hate comes the... I mean, I can't think of this. Okay, got you know. Your acros are fine. You're on the right path. Play who you want. Um, Rhea with the MP down can still hit really hard if you have a strap for her. Uh, Kyrie, you double up um, double up with the multiplies, and she can hit really hard with the moment. So uh, those are good. Nikki needs to be 21K. Where are we at? Which Nikki? This Nikki? For flats? Is she? She's trainers, right? Flat reds. She flat reds. It'll help you a lot for tours. So she's worth taking to 21k, yes. Tiffany's a really good trainer. Um, she's a really good trainer. So you're good there. Uh, no, I have no updates today. Restate? No updates today. But yeah, your Lady Acros are golden. I mean, you have Dakota, so I think you're fine at Lady Trickster with, you know, like, she does, she's a marginal gain at gold. Uh, Liv needs really pretty good stuff, actually, to be worth it, in my opinion. Um, so I think you're fine, to be honest, at Trickster. Just kind of, like, more like waiting, I would say, generally at Trickster for the ladies. You're fine for now. You can do all your stuff. That's That would be my advice, personally. Um, as far as trainers go, there's usually a bunch in here, but it looks like you have pretty much 
I think where they need to be, yeah, guys? These trainers are about where they need to be there. Did you get Kyrie's last rank of bleed? That's worth working towards if you haven't. She goes up to 40% now. Really, there's only Piper here. No one else is really that. Yeah, there's just Piper. So I would not personally... He does have Acker Kyrie, yes. I would not personally um, take her gold. Cool. Yeah, yeah. It's worth it when you need to use a bleed person. Um, granted, that being said, there really isn't any game changing bleed people right now. Um, have you tried Goat with her 27 moments? I think as a class killer, Goat can work, but that's it. Yeah, Rusty. She's the best of the worst. I hate Piper, uh, but she's the best of the worst. I disagree completely about Powerhouse Bree. The best you're going to do, the best you're going to do is like 20 million, 20, 22 million with a big strap. That's hard to get for that era at gold with a Titan plate. And it's going to take you like a while. It's going to take a couple, three cycles at gold. I actually hardcore disagree about Powerhouse Bella. I see people saying that. Not a fan of that. Personally, I would level up Piper before Powerhouse Bree if this was my roster. How do you actually run her HD? I liked her a little bit back in the day. Her animations are slow, but she was solid back in the day. Me, I'm going to bring her up on my phone. It's been forever since. You really like Bailey at Powerhouse? That's surprising. You're not dumb, so you have a reason if you do. Like on a smaller roster, you like it? When powerhouse ladies are required, I get upset. Yeah, probably most of the game does. Do you do the X breaks still, HD? The greens? Like green, green, yellow or something? I feel like they're not a lot. Do we have more snowfall gem trainers now? Yes, on a small roster, yeah. You thinking the sub with blow up the board? Or are you thinking like... Ugh. Boy, I don't like it very much, but I get it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. So, Goat Becky is required a lot. It's so bad, HD. It's so bad. Literally, even Liv is... The top is not that good. Even Liv is not that good. So, Goat Becky with her gears and stuff i mean like she can do stuff it really depends on how you're gonna play people of this list on your roster with what you have that i've seen i actually think cora jade's the best pick probably but she actually doesn't need gold um cora jade with both status actually can win pretty quickly uh he didn't have raquel right unless i'm blind so I prefer Raquel over Piper. I prefer Raquel over Bianca. Um, Raquel is probably the second best lady powerhouse, but that's sort of like saying you're the worst lady acrobat. Not exactly like that, but, you know, that's a exaggeration. Okay, Rusty, gotcha. I, can, I have a migraine, so, like, I'm like, did I miss that? I could have easily missed it. For my personal taste... I like Korra over all the tricks for most rosters. I do not... I, I've never really loved this one for some reason. I don't know. It doesn't... It, it's never... My roster, which is big, Liv has never clicked with. I've never had... Like, it, and my, maybe it's my play style too. I just do not like Trickster Liv. Like, compared to Korra or... I mean, even Drip Coda, and I hate using the Drip. I just... Liv just doesn't click for me uh, for whatever reason. I don't like it. Um, but if other people do, that's fine. That's one that I think it's a play style thing for me. Um, it just seems, feels like I'm always clicking so many buttons with every live. It's not just that one. It's also with Powerhouse. Steel Red? Yeah, yeah. Steel MPs are underrated. Doesn't 
Korra have steel MPs too, now that I'm thinking about it? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's fine to take up. 100% fine to take up. There's live requirements all the time. She's a good card. Right? Like, I'm just saying, like, uh, of these... I personally feel like she's the best for the, the type of roster I'm looking at. That doesn't mean I'm right, but that's what I feel like. Lady Strikers also kind of suck. Um, she's your best one, in my opinion. Uh, I just run her triple blue. It's pretty easy. Um, alternatively, if you have, if you swatch the Steph vid, you can target Tricksters with Steph. Nice, Baloo. I kind of like that. Probably, Chris. Probably. I mean, I can live. That's good advice. Absolutely good advice. I'm not saying, like, also keep uh, that. The, me, my advice is to wait to take anyone else gold at Lady Trickster. So. I wouldn't take anyone else gold at Trickster. I just personally like Cora the most there. But as far as, like, CSS, yeah, she's going to be required probably more than anyone else on here. For sure. Hmm, gotcha, Jason. Did he have... Did I miss Sonya? I did not. He does not have Sonya. Right? No, nice, Sako. Maxine's amazing. I do not like Bliss either. You do HD, yeah. I think that's a me thing, to be honest. I, I and I say that a lot. I think Liv though is a me thing. Like her her gameplay just like the buff, like stacking the buff and stuff is great, but I just feel like I'm there for twenty hours to click and I'm gonna cascade on a three match. You know? So <laughs> yes hd yes correct yeah a bliss it's so many cycles she can do stuff for sure with a taker plate if you're patient but like at higher levels you're going to be there all day um i can't do it i don't have the patience for it like nikki i just feel like triple blue is going to be way faster for him and really solid you know um for what he's got he also can put the bulldog plate um staff against tricksters is really freaking good watch that video see if that's something you want to do but staff against tricksters is really freaking good so now we're taking a look at noah's roster and and luckily in the ladies game everyone's got awesome tricksters and tends to run them right so you have no problem running into them so um, there's that. The, these are like generally super, uh, like. Rhea is actually pretty solid too. Um, but eh, it's just really hard sometimes if people don't have a couple key, like ladies is not deep. You know what I mean? Um, so like if you miss like one or two keep like if you miss zombie live and 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 Raquel or, or Bianca and Raquel Raquel and Bianca aren't good, like what do you eat like it's just really rough, man. You know what I mean? So like you're you're trying to do the best you can with what you have, but also at the same time, don't blow a lot of resources on somebody that's not great. So you just need to take them to a level that gets you by. Until you get something that is better than gets you by. You know what I mean? Like, if you have the resources, it's fine. Wow, Felix, congrats, dude. That's fine. Yeah, like, I can see why people would like that. For sure. People love stuns in general. They do. Yes, you absolutely can.
Yeah. Yeah, I got you, Noah. The one plate I'm really thinking about as I'm looking at his roster is the Hogan plate. Um, so we need to keep that in mind, absolutely. For people that blow up the board and make a lot of red, which actually you could potentially put that on um, a couple people. Let's see what happens, though, because that's... Uh, I'm assuming you don't have, like, a ton of people that can win turn one at gold, Noah. So we may see if we can work that in if there's a sub person that blows up the board, potentially, or something like that. Yeah, I, I get it. In some cases, a stun is just your best option, for sure. For sure, Crazy Chef. It's not that close. Yeah, he's got two flare gears. I guess let's start with the techs. I'm definitely going to need help on any trainers, guys. Um... Because it's not clicking for me right now as I'm looking at possible trainers that are important. What's Booker T go up to now? Yeah, Miz is his best HD for sure. Did you get his moment as well, Noah? You did okay definitely miss that's that easier easier guy if defensive shards are a problem hopefully you get lex and dom shards they're both defensive but yeah it's pretty much no contest mm, yes and no it's move damage He's someone you can work on, but I wouldn't rush it. He is, however, required a ton. I feel like he's a 45% green gem damage on Booker T at 21k. Okay, cool. That's worth taking, absolutely. Um, he's required all the freaking time. Yeah. Doink has a double green. It's move damage, yeah. Worth working on. Probably not super important right now. But yes. And a decent legend. And Brett is required all the time. For sure. And he's a decent legend one. So that's not, he's not, this is a good one to work on. For sure. Uh, Dom for his tr uh, coach ability. So you chuck more. Is it Dom's green gems? Yeah. Is Dom green gems or blue? Blue. Dom's blue. Blue gems. Nice. Yeah, you'll want to take him six star bronze so he can chuck more blue gems. Uh, that's very useful at coach. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, the defensive shard things. Right, Noah. Yes, Miz first, Dom second. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Bob is great against powerhouses, for sure. Cody's pretty solid, um, but you, to be good, he needs, like, big stuff. Uh, Miz is just by far your best. Miz at the moment doesn't need crazy stuff to hit hard, so, like, he's your best, for sure. Okay. 
Yeah, I get that. I wouldn't take him any higher. Oh, you got Captain Lou. Just observing. Not saying the level. Although he is, I think it's, is he purple move damage or yellow? Purple or yellow? One of those. Okay, you got Matt, so you at least have that multiply trainer. You got both of those guys. This must have been one of your pulls. Your two best showboats are definitely Waller and KO. Yeah, you got that bug. Yeah, your two best showboats are definitely Waller and KO. So. You have the gremlin on Waller, so I'm sure you know that. No, Finn, gear, no gear doesn't matter. Waller and KO are both better than Finn. It's not that close. Uh, Cena's high enough for the trainer. I think. Pretty sure Silver's high enough for Cena. Bradshaw should be high enough for his. Um, oops, that's the wrong button. No, not Lawler. Waller! Waller was his best showboat. Not Lawler. Waller. The annoying guy. Yeah, he, if he wants to farm kickoff, Godfather is a good pick. For farming kickoff. Miz to cheese wins. Fair enough. Shane is a trainer. Yeah, he needs 9k. That looks short of 9k. Yeah, Captain Lou can help you with legendary showboat requirements. He's an okay trainer. He's an okay fighter. Um, He's not the worst, for sure. But you got KO for Legend, so. Yep, exactly. So I, I personally, unless you end up using someone with a purple finisher, which is highly unlikely right now, uh, you probably don't need to rush Captain Lou, but it might be a fun side project if you're bored. Because um, he's probably better than these two as well i was just playing or and i want to make him work i was trying to come up with a good budget build for him but he just it's not there and if you don't have nicer stuff it's really not there ko is just way better than or in every way which is unfortunate because i love orton uh okay Acro, I imagine this is probably painful for you, but let's see. Mm, KO, the more you have, the better, but it's mostly bracers. Bracer, everybody needs something special to answer your question. Um, but bracer and um, sheriff's badge is ideal for him. Bulldog bracer and sheriff's badge is ideal for KO. Bracer is very good for him, though. Most people, if they have a bracer, it's not used on anyone. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Uh, KO does a bunch of red, right? So you could potentially, Noah. Can KO do the red with the sub? Question mark. KO can do the red with... Can he do the red with the sub? Because that could be a really slick spot uh, for the Hogan plate. Potentially, if you can, let me look. Um, or, or, MP down, uh, trainer. MP down trainer and the snowfall build with the Hogan plate. Turn two should be really big. So if you use MP down with the Hogan plate. Okay, yeah, we don't want the sub then. So I think if you went MP down, Noah, the, this could be a really solid 
because he's got a buff with the Hogan plate. Um, you know what? You want to let's let me look at this real quick. Give me two seconds. It's been a minute. Uh, seven MP, so he can run that. Doesn't need seventeen. Oh, okay. Uh, this works. This totally works. Hold on. All right, time out. Uh, mouse. Hello. What's going on? What? That's weird. Do I have cat hair in my mouse? Better. Noah, what kind of strap do you have in your KO? What percentage? Extra turn? Okay. <laughs> Let me see who he's got for training. Have Yoko. He's got Bulldog level. Don't. He has Yoko, but not level. And I don't think he has Zombie Code. The Priest is red, not Zombie Cody. He has Zombie Priest. Perfect. Priest, priesty, priesty, priesty. You said you have extra churn, so I will not. You got Fury or Fury 2, Noah? Fury or Fury 2. One or two, Biggie, one or two. That's from South Park. Kids don't watch that. Adults watch that. One set of Fury 2s. So we'll go Fury 1s, because you're most... Eh, three sets? We'll go Fury 1s. You're most likely um, going to put Fury 1s on this. Probably, because you're going to... I don't know if it'll be one of your top three. I'll just put Fury 1s on it to be safe for you. Um, what you can do... Wait, we already just... Your Yoko's not leveled, so we're actually going to do it this way. MP reduce. Right? Do this the right way. He's already has Fury 1s? Okay. All right. Sure, that works. Since you have extra turn, you got a Hogan plate. So the goal here is to blow up the board turn one and buff you for turn two with the MP reduction on them. So you have a big turn two. I don't know how this is going to work. That's why I'm playing it. Uh, because I don't know what this will look like. Uh, on your roster without a sheriff's badge and stuff. So literally, I have no idea if this is viable. Uh, so I wanted to play it to see if indeed it hits hard on the second cycle with the buff and the 200% from the Hogan play. You have Waller who does the sub thing better than anyone really, the sub damage stuff. So um, Waller... We don't, you don't need another sub build. Waller covers your showboat sub builds just fine. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is going to look like for you yet, to be honest. So don't get excited yet. Um, it may be good, it may not. I'm used to 
different um different setup a little bit so let's see if we can get a two cycle win out of this hmm right on chris I don't expect this to be super hard. Just FYI on the first cycle. Sixteen mil, okay. That's not bad. That's certainly livable if this hits what I think this is gonna hit. Oh yes. This looks like it probably will be okay. I think this might be close to all of Sammy's life. I think this might be close to 32. Noah has a Hulkamaniac's plate. Not bad. 28 mil on the second go. Not bad. I think that could... That's, that's with a no gem strap in Fury 1s. So I think you could make that work as long as you target with an MP reduction. Yeah, it'll get stronger on the next, the next. Yeah. As long as you target so people aren't loaded with the MP reduction. These are all trainers you have. The strap is a strap you have. It's Fury 1s. So I think that could work for you on turn two um you could yeah you can always if you if you're if you want to target people without an mp reducer you always can bring shango downs especially if they're going to be farmable on the stip store i mean i don't know that i would recommend that for people um as a good option but i think i think that we'll see what else we come up with but that could be a really good spot for your hulk plate run that way I think you know, KO can hit pretty hard that way. So that's also potentially um, a good option for you. That could be fairly quick um, and obviously hit hit pretty good. Um, so that's worth, worth thinking about for your roster probably. I would imagine you don't have a lot of people that are up in that damage range. Miz is going to hit harder than that for you. Uh, but I don't think you're going to have a lot of setups you can run where you can get to that kind of damage. So I think that's probably a good option. Okay. That was fun. I don't think I'd really ever thought have thought about that. Oh, for sure. For sure, I believe. Um, Cena's got good trainer now right i also like using him for requirements i actually use him over the other scene for requirements shelton's got a useful sub trainer for tours um balor is really good for stip tour if you didn't see my video for multiply stip tour everybody can do well on the current gem mania stip tour we have i don't know how often we're going to have this particular one but when it's this one uh multiply in any color balor is going to be really really good for that um, you can do good things. So he's 100% worth working on. Um, absolutely, Poseidon. You absolutely could, yes. I'm assuming you're probably having to run west with the sub now, right now, yeah. Oh, you got Steamboat. Nice. He needs to go to Silver for his trainer 
for extra traps if that's a trainer you're going to use and traps deal 100 percent i'm assuming when we get to tricksters we're going to see ozzy if ozzy is somebody you're using a lot which i'm going to assume is a yes you can tell me if i'm right or wrong that you use ozzy a lot steamboat is somebody you're going to want to take the silver for ozzy just like you have tiffany leveled up probably for ozzy um those will both help your ozzy a lot uh steamboat also is a decent fighter on his own not amazing but decent in a rough era for male acrobats so i kind of am liking steamboat to silver yeah ozzy's definitely your best i thought so steamboat to silver makes a ton of sense first wes i'm assuming you're probably using the purple snowfall set um for him and that can hold you over while you level steamboat up um jay is interesting with the moment i did not play him in feud yet um i'm curious how he would do also he obviously is somebody that can have a decent amount of rng i, I did the video on him uh he can hit decent ish um but it's a little more work uh, maybe than some others but he's probably better than your other options besides Steamboat. Um, dude, Acrobat just pretty much mostly sucks. Mm, so, Wes, with your roster, you would have to run Wes. Um, what kind of percentage gem strap you have for Wes? But you would have to run Wes, Lawler, Matt, um, and then MP reduction. And then throw your countdowns out turn one, swipe, throw all your moves out and hit them. With the moment and a hundred percent strap, you don't have a Z plate, so that's gonna lose about that's gonna lose fifty percent. I would estimate you'd probably hit on turn two in the 50 to 55 mil range um, with what you can bring to the table with that. Probably 50 to 55 that way. Um, similar to what we just did with Owens. And with the, with the moment. Now, as far as Acolyte, what kind of strap do you have for Bradshaw? I saw you have Tiara. Uh, what kind of strap is on him? Hundred percent. Uh, that was for Wes. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking as well, Chris. So what we do know is you have 100% for Wes. How much, if you don't, let's say, gamble for the stun immunity for Bradshaw, what would you be able to get with that currency instead? We'll also need to look at your dude strikers when we get there. Hmm. How many you need, Baloo? That's a really good point. I forgot moments actually require X amount of people to open. Does he need four or five for that? That's a really super good point. He might need four. So, Tech Sammy, do you, if I. Did he have Tech Sammy? I don't think he had Tech Sammy. Yep. You only need three to open it, or you only have three? I don't think he had Tech Sammy, so... He's got Wes, Nikita... Or not Nikita, Jade, Aura. Theory Trickster's on there, too. I don't know if he has Theory Trickster. We'll see when we get there. I th yeah, I think it's 4-2. 
Pretty sure it's four. There's a bunch of trainers in here. I'm going to miss them for sure. Sammy can do blast gems. Do you have anyone for blast? Looks like you pulled him. I'm not a big Kali fan personally. He's really random. He uses a sub. He's a combination of things I don't like. Um, nice. Ozzy. I mean, Ozzy is better than all the other tricksters anyway. Oh, he does have theory. All right. Cool. Oh, nice, Noah. Very nice. Hogan was a pull. Good pull. That's cool. He's super useful as a trainer. Also, Attitude Rex can be a pain. I mean, Ozzy's the answer, right? Like, you already know that, so nothing new there. It's just leveling up trainers as you get to them. Uh, Theory has a leech trainer that I don't use on anyone because leeches suck. Um... Akam and Mosh are both super useful. Steamboat is actually a yellow gem chucker. He needs to go bronze so you can chuck more yellow gems. He's plus three on your gems for yellows with zombies. Um, also, you'll be using him in October, I am sure. Uh, we said Sammy for the blast. Yeah, Ozzy helped a ton of rosters out. This is like a perfect example why Ozzy was so huge. I mean, you don't have too many golds, and you got a great trickster sitting at gold right here because of last month. Freaking awesome. Really, really cool. Fair enough, Noah. Fair enough. All right, Powerhouse is one of the... <clears throat> yeah, it's funny sometimes, like, how this game works. Like, uh, look, he's also got Bronson Reed, too. The game is just really funny how it can work, right? Uh, yes, Brett is awesome. Yoko for Reinforced Trainer. If your Hall of Fame tokens are a struggle for you, you don't need to rush it. Um, Angle does, like, cross break thingies for uh or x break thingies he generates a bunch of them for the like when they're required for stip tours now if they are but also for the um extreme rules garbage uh which can be useful when you can't break the rules yeah uh bronson i'm actually very not familiar with because i didn't do his preview i did play him some um he's very similar to roman reigns if i recall right rock and roman but i think he might have a gem damage color buff in there too i don't know how hard it hits right off the top um yeah goldberg is the same way he reworked for that sort of tour they're worth taking up a little bit not crazy high clubber's got a pretty good solid um sub build I think I did in my top build for Clubber. Uh, he's got a pretty solid sub build that can do some things. Um, of course, Rick can stun lock. It's slow, but it wins. I don't think he really needs gold. Uh, Bronson, I, I, just looking at this, I'm pretty sure Bronson is your best powerhouse, even having not played him a lot. Um, or I'd probably go Clubber with the sub build, blow up the board if you end up going away from bradshaw uh the tiara works uh i would use rhonda's jacket on clubber for that build i think actually so never mind on that um bronze we'll get bronze i still haven't recruited him i'm 80 i think i'm 85 shards away now i don't know it's not very many Absolutely, he will. Still have not recruited this guy. That's crazy. They did not make him easy to get. 
Although I did pass on his shards a couple times because uh, I was grabbing plates instead. So to be fair, I probably would have him unlocked now. He reminds me, and I get heat sometimes when I say this, but he reminds me a lot of uh, of uh, Bam Bam, actually. I get Bam Bam vibes when I watch Bronson Reed. traps in purple. That's a lot of trap gems in purple. Does he buff them? Oh, his finisher is a skip turn. Interesting. Get green gems. Oh. Hey, he's okay. Maybe he's a little bit more like Braun, actually. Speed gems to destroy. Increase your red news by 50%. 1.5 mil. Hmm. Perhaps. Yeah, focused, as we know, there's a lot of focused. That's a cool little, um, cool little hardcore move. I didn't even realize he had a skip turn on, uh, at all. Hardcore is fun when it works out. Interesting. 21 mil in turn one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I do think Bronson's there's there's he's got to be your best powerhouse. I would say, I would probably definitely say that. But he's being primarily move damage doesn't gain a lot going up higher necessarily, other than HP, which is big. Um, you said you wanted to focus more on your powerhouses too. So did you get Brutus's gear? He's a very safe two or three cycle win with his gear. I didn't get his gear. Maybe you got lucky and got his gear. I doubt it since he's two star, but you never know. Brutus with his gear is a safe three cycle win running um like triple red. Two or three cycle win running triple red. He's gonna take a long time against the gold though. So no rec no recommend without gear. With gear, it's a pretty safe two or three cycle win. Um I just run around his jacket triple red. Just start with the stun. Stun, sub, they can't do anything, blow up the board. Stun, sub, they can't do anything, blow up the board. It works really well. Um, triple red. So, but yeah, probably not worth working on in this. Honestly, I would leave Rick at silver. When you need to win, you can stun lock. It's not fast, but you can win. Um, Bronson, I would probably take to silver, Noah, um, because it's not super resource heavy if you can afford it. Um, your finisher damage isn't really going to go up though, just your HP is. The traps. I don't think generate it's two click three click with the trap move that's interesting but I don't it's 80k per trap and 32 traps steamboat would add to that a lot if broken by your opponent deal 95 what if what does it do when we do if broken by you, deal 150k damage. Too bad we can't increase that. What's 32 times 
150k. It is 4.8 million. So the trap gems do 4.8 million when they break. And there's Steamboat gives you 33. I don't you'll need a purple MP, so it'll just be Steamboat. There's no Santa, so then we got 32 trap gems at if Steamboat was maxed, it would be 160k a piece. That's not a ton. That's another, basically the number we just said. That's like another um, 5 million times 33. Yeah, 5.2 million. So 10 million damage and then your gem damage, which won't be a lot. So on this, the part where they, um, I probably should have switched over to this screen. Um, the part where they, where you increase your gem damage, if there is a way to get to that, that would be super fantastic, but there's not until the next cycle. Well, actually, is that a problem? No, I don't know that it is because we could just do the same thing we've been doing with your other stuff. Hold on. No, because they all break. They all break if I break them. If I break them, they all break. That's not helpful. How can we get this so he breaks them? Yes, this is going to cascade like crazy. I saw that. Um, very, very cascady. How do we get them to break those so we can have a big boom? He's got to choose, right? Choose it, choose it, choose it, choose it. You got this plate. It has green to purple. You have purple to green. No has green purple. <laughs> How about red to purple? Actually, any color to purple would work. What am I talking about? You have a smoke plate not on somebody. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. I'm gonna do this instead. I think. What kind of strap do you have for Bronson? Just curious. works any two red mp works um just pretend this is sting that's sting we don't need the green it's done immunity That's fine. Not a big deal, buddy. We'll just run the exact same strap we were just running. Uh, and it's not a problem. It makes it easier to set up. I know you have Lacey. I'm just going to throw Lacey on there. We'll just put the KO strap on here. It's already set up with Fury 1s. And then we are going to take this off. And you have a smoke plate available to us, which is all we want. It's the purple MP. Also, it's going to let us push the pin bar. 
Hopefully, uh, this is probably not ideal, but let me see if we can make this work. Creative here. I'm just curious if there's an advantage to taking gold if you're not using the move damage. So obviously, taking focus, stunning them, hitting with your finisher is great. I'm just curious if there's a viable option besides that. Because uh, I'm assuming, do you have a primary plate on him for that setup when you do that, Noah? Probably don't. Or if it is, it's probably not doing a lot for that one, I'm going to guess. Um, and then also, same thing, though. We're going to go MP down with this. That's my mistake. Um, this should be MP reduction. Sorry. MP reduction. Oh. I have to use my brain once in a while. Right, correct. So you could you could actually have the same strap set up, either one with your move damage one, uh, move damage or maybe not. Do you have move damage? Do you have takedown on that other setup? Takedown one at least. That you're hitting twenty one mil, at least takedown one. So you wouldn't be able to use the same strap if you're using takedown. So that's my bad. But anyway, uh, blue to purple. So. We need three blue, three purple, or you can just destroy six purple. Red would be better because then you could also refill some of the red, but it's not really a big deal for this purpose. It's just um, a way to move the pin bar at the same time we're loading the move because we want to ideally get this um, so that a three swipe, um, we need five. So this is one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. So a three swipe pins them so we can get them to swipe the board um, an extra time with the MP reduction. That's the whole goal here, but we don't want to cascade either because we want to get our traps out. So something like this, maybe, yes, perfect, is what you want to do. Then you can chuck your traps out. Except you don't do this against Zombie Sammy. <sighs> I suck at this game. <sighs> even better, actually. Even better. Is, you know how sometimes there's plenty... Of, do you ever know a fight people in Feud that you don't care if they're ready turn one? Because they don't hit you super hard. You know what I mean? When you just know somebody's like, they're not set up completely right. Um, does that happen to you very much? Or yes or no? If no, that's cool. If it happens all the time, or you look at somebody and you're like, yeah, I know they're going to hit me, but it's not going to kill me. So no big deal. I go in there anyway. Why did I go to there? I don't know. Okay, so sometimes not often. Okay, then don't worry about it. But you can if you know it. What am I? Buttons. Too many menus. All right, change to her, calm down, stop talking, figure this out right here. All right, so like if you go against somebody that like Otis, you know he's going to do his nonsense, uh, but he's not going to kill you. That's even better because them hitting your trap gems is glorious. But since we're going to keep the same setup we had, he starts charged normally, by the way. So this is a really, he's a really good example in general. Otis is, that is. All right, we need blue. One, two, three. We want some purplies, and then we want to move the pin bar some. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like that. Would prefer to leave him the row break and hope he takes it, but it does not look like that's going to be an option. So we're going to just do this. Okay. Break some gems. Thank you. 90% boost. Maybe not ideal. Eh. 
Not ideal at 12 million. No, nah, I think you're stuck with move damage with him. As much as I want to get creative, I think you're stuck. Uh, unless you found somebody that was going to blow up the board for you. Um, like, so, if you found somebody that was blowing up the board, then you just do this instead. Sort of thing. And then you go in like this. Except I have the MP on still. MP down still. I also used the wrong everything, but luckily I have a blue match here. That's going to help. I'm super bad at this game, using the wrong MP trainer. Uh, everything's fine. Everything's great. Alright, Otis. Help me out here. I don't know what I'm thinking. This isn't going to work. This just isn't going to work. Just ignore me, Noah. Nothing Nothing I said here is going to work. So, it was a good try, but it sucks. Good try, but it sucks. Because this just doesn't hit uh, hard enough. Like, yeah. So, good try, but it sucks. I suck as well. Okay, enough of that. Back to this. You're probably stuck on move damage. Uh, if you wanted to check out the Clubber build, that would be good. It's basically sub, and then you blow up the board. Um... It's not super great. Honestly, I think his move damage build is your best bet. I really want to wanted to find something like extremely better for you at Powerhouse. I just don't think it's there right now. Probably. So I think he's your best bet with the move damage the way you have it. <laughs> yeah, Noah. I mean, there's no way I can reliably get them to destroy a lot of gems. This is the problem. The traps would be great. So like, I hate saying this, but if he had a sub the traps would be great because then you could get them to break the trap gems. They'd be all buffed and then you'd blow up your trap gems. You know what I mean? A sub, like if he was like Julius where he had a sub that chose purple gems, then you could do some stuff with that. Run an all heart, recycle the sub move, get them out again, then blow them up. But he's not, it's just like missing something. So yeah, let me just double check and make sure there's not the powerhouse. There's a few good ones, and then after that, it's, like, really rough, so. Ah! Well, Hall of Fame Triple H is pretty good. Um, he really does need a Piper plate, though, and his plate to be good. And that's a lot. So, yeah, that's the problem. That is the problem. His move damage is just the best you're going to hit, and then focusing on focus people. That's the best you're going to do. Wow. Hall of Fame Angle was not expecting to see that looking at me. He used Power Gem, folks. Uh, these guys' training ability. So if you're using Bradshaw with Power Gems, some people do actually, um, and they use a, a combination setup with the Power Gems and the Multiplies. Uh, those might be worth working on. I actually don't run that set, so never have really actually. I prefer either pure Power Gems usually or pure Multiplies on him. That one might, that could be really good. I just never ran it. Oh! Hall of Fame Vader looking at me too. I see what you mean by your strikers are... Apparently the game's like, you know what, Noah? You get every striker. You can just have them. No other classes, but we're going to give you strikers. Uh, You have the Miz moment. Jug set up with a down prop until triple red. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, I'm assuming you watched... Lashley with the Miz moment video, yeah? Final Boss Rock is good at what he does. At this point, you know what he's like without 99 MP. He doesn't get better. He stays the same. He gets worse as you level him. 
Um, but obviously, bronze versus bronze, he pretty much crushes everybody quickly. Uh, Funk is cool, but he takes the right stuff, and for sure. Um, yep. Makes sense to me, man. Makes sense to me. So, um, I think Priest needs six star to max his training ability out. If I'm wrong, ignore me, but I'm pretty sure that's the case and he's worth it. Um, Vader, for you, I would say you're probably using his power gem set and that would be the right build for you. It took Funk up for a blue boss. Uh, Rock also has some power gems and stuff. Um,. I do think Lashley with Ms. Moment is better than Rock, by the way. So I, I agree with that. Um, I'm sure your short Hall of Fame tokens, honestly, a lot of people will probably say, tell him to level Hall of Fame Kurt. I'm going to go out on a limb and bet you don't have a ton of extra Hall of Fame tokens anyway. You can run Kurt um, with the sub into the multiplies and it's actually really good uh but you would need a gem damage strap for that and you would need tokens to level him and again i'm pretty sure lashley with ms moment definitely hits harder than him so if you're going for a sub build out of everybody in here lashley with the ms moment does the sub build better i think personally and you don't need anything crazy to run lashley's sub build so I feel like Lashley's the right the right pick. Some is different than a ton. And I think Lashley's better anyway, so than than Kurt. Is he? What'd you pull him at? It's one and then ten and then thirty, I think. Get him five star gold. You did. Very nice level to pull him at. Yeah, it's one to six star. And then I think it's 10 to 6 star silver and then 30. He's also a defensive striker. Don't know how you're doing on defensive striker shards, but in general, defensive shards can be a pain to acquire for a lot of people. And that would be 12,000 shards to convert to gold. But if you have the tokens, you could do worse. Vader is focus striker, so that's certainly not an easier path. Um... Personally, of all of them, I like Lashley more. Out of Rock, Vader, Hall of Fame Kurt, I think Lashley's just simply better with the Miss moment. And I don't think it's that close, to be honest. The benefit of not having rarity bias. But also keep in mind, I do hate Hall of Famers. Like for your roster, Lashley is much, much better with what you have. Uh, Seth with a ton of stuff is really cool too. Like all of his moments in a good strap. And a tiara. You have the tiara. I don't know if you have the strap, and I don't know if you have his... Uh, one one gear for the MP is the important one. One gear or all gears, I think, for Seth. If I, the move damage one doesn't matter. Uh, just the MP one is the important one. Um, if you have the MP one, that's the important one, and then the moments. So, But you would also want like a big gem damage strap. So... Like, if you want a gem damage striker, you have one gear for Seth. Perfect. That's the MP. And what about moments? Do you have the one? You can get all of them, I think, from the Showdown Shop, except the Dexter Indie moment. Um, You cannot. Let me just look at Seth here. TV Seth. Yeah, uh kofi mania you probably already have uh return of the nightmares in the showdown shop that's the important one for seth and yeah and one gear it's either one gear or all gears for seth one gear gives you the mp the last gear gives you 50 percent more black gem damage it's not the end of the world because you have a tiara um so you would need to get from the showdown store maybe we'll get lucky and it's up on the this account uh, 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 I know it's not on my account. 
wrong Cody moment, but okay. Yeah, yeah. So what I would say, don't do this right off yet. I did a video of Seth and Feud. It's Feud Battles, Seth. Let me get you the... I don't know if you saw it. It'd be worth watching again. Um, I don't know how you are on Showdown tokens. I don't know what you normally use them for. Yeah, Striker Seth. Seth ETV. Here's the link. Yeah, he is great, Zandel. So, also make sure you can activate that moment and level that moment. But that's a feud video. Um, the setup for him is double. Is I don't know. Mm, you use it from my vid. Okay, cool. So you can use the vid to see if Seth is a route you want to go. But if you want, like, turn one possible gem damage guy for what you have on your roster, like. So let's say you decided to flip and not use Bradshaw anymore. I forget who we were talking about instead. I don't remember. Um, but if you flipped and didn't use Bradshaw, um, yes, triple red. Absolutely. You, Seth would be your, like, turn one, no sub kind of guy that hits hard. They're both modern is the only downside, but that's not the end of the world, truly. Um, and then Lashley would be your other one. I don't know what kind of strap you have for Seth, though. So you would want a gem damage strap for Seth, and then uh, he would be one of the places that Fury 2s would benefit. Yes. Um, Felix, yes. But that's kind of a generic answer. That's assuming you have... I mean, everyone pretty much can run Bradshaw um, with power gems, you know? And that's going to probably be better. You know, sub sub power gem build with Bradshaw. Yeah. Bradshaw's just really fun to play, too. So if you're in love with Bradshaw, you don't need to pivot away from him, Noah. So don't, like, think I'm saying you can't use Bradshaw. Um, Seth? So did you get the indie one, too? Um, that one depended on your faction, I think. It was free for my faction. Um, This helps because gives you an extra two on your mul You didn't get that one. Okay. Then maybe slow play, Seth, because two multiply gems is a lot. I wouldn't rush it. And I, you have the moment I'd just focus Lashley um, instead then. But if you get this moment, it'll probably come up during Valentine's again. I can't imagine they will super protect it. Maybe they'll have it in some prize walls. Um that helps Seth with two more multiplied. The biggest one is the nightmare one that's in your showdown right now. That one makes the biggest difference for sure. But um, without all the stuff, yeah, maybe you don't do that. So, and I think that's the end of the roster, which is good if Professor's live, because I don't want to cut into his stream. Um, any last minute questions? No, I don't know if I helped you very much. I hope I did um appreciate the chat like chiming in and helping and stuff too i hope you guys enjoyed it today Noah, you can dm me too if you have any more or further questions um and also keep me posted on how it's going for you and also the like the chat i'm sure a lot of us will be curious who you decide to take up yeah be careful which moment it is because there's two different cody moments you want the right moment for sure you don't want the wrong moment. The The one is crappy, and this is the good one. Awesome theory, Brute. I'm glad. Um, Again, if you didn't see it, check out the Stip Tour with Balor video I did. I think that'll help pretty much everybody. I actually used Balor on my account um, for the Stip Tour, and he did quite well. So... You guys had a good day. Let's raid Professor. Or go win some free crap. Mm. 
I'm glad you're liking Seth, by the way, Sandel. Cool, Noah, I'm glad. Good luck, guys. Have a good night. Now, I should be streaming on my channel tomorrow.